Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. It's Action Jackson time. Bartek 58 from the RS1 clan. Shout out to you guys. He's in his Jackson. This is what you would call it if you were friends. It is Jackson. Right? You wouldn't call it the Jackson. This is an American tank, so we should call it the Jackson. Action Jackson, right? But <clears throat> if you're French and you're watching, you can call it the Jackson. It's uh, an encounter mode. And so, the, of course, the first thing that you should do when you're playing an encounter mode is drive as far away as possible from uh, any hope of encountering anyone. Right? <coughs> There's, notice where the encounter base is. And for some reason, guys, I think it's a psychological thing, and I want you guys to help me out with this. Because um, when this is just a regular game, when it's a... Uh, oh, is he going to put another one into... Oh. <laughs> le Jackson, le tire plus tard high, right? If this was just a regular game, like a, a, just a regular battle where there were two bases, I would propose to you that almost everyone... <laughs> this... Le Jackson needs to learn to aim. Almost everyone goes to A1, A2, and there's like a huge fight around the rocks there, right? And a couple of people usually stay at the base here sniping. A couple. I've noticed. Right? That's in a regular game when there's two bases. When it's kind of even, and you can go anywhere. But when it's in encounter mode, and they put the base up near the rocks over there, right? Look where the, the white base is. When the base is up there, and this happens on a lot of the maps, like uh, what's the one with the, the hill on the side and the big open field? What's that one called? The one, Camp in a Bushka, the one with the ma magic push? When it's an encounter. Whenever there's an encounter mode, um, or El, El Haluf. No, this is El Haluf. <laughs> oh, hell, Haluf. What's the other one? I got all the maps. In my it, whenever there's an encounter game, people rush to the opposite, like where the base isn't. And they go fight there. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sand River, I think. The Sand River. When there's, a, when there's an encounter mode, people rush up on top of the big, uh, like the high point on the map in the northeast corner where there's a... <laughs> this guy really needs to learn to aim way up there where no like usually one or two tanks go there and it's really not consequential as far as the game goes and he finally aimed <laughs> it's inconsequential as far as the game outcome in most pub games one or two or three people go there occasionally but as soon as it's an encounter mode <laughs> and the base is in kind of that gully area well everyone goes up there they all go as far away from the base as possible i just i, I don't know what it is what? Okay. Scientific uh, experiment or discussion. Just because the circle is in a different place, like there's instead of having a green circle and a purple circle or red if you're not colorblind. I use colorblind mode here, guys, because some people can't distinguish red and green. That's why my videos are purple and green. Well, it really bothers some people that aren't colorblind. Well, too bad, right? It's a small price to pay uh, to uh, let to color color challenged people enjoy the game as well you can still see the difference whether it's red or purple right that's besides the point but just because there's not a a green base and a purple base there's just a white one why would that affect where you go why all of a sudden does that mean well <laughs> screw that I'm I'm heading south can't fool me is it just our natural tendencies to disagree Oh, they put a counter base up there. They want us to go encounter each other up there. Fuck them. I'm going south. Can't tell me what to do. I'm driving my Jackson. So suck on this. I guess that's the typical. I guess. Incidentally. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. Reference. These guys are all 
Muppets! Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, you know, you know the reference, right? There was a scientific study done. If you don't know the reference, I'm sorry to say, but you, you're probably a lo low IQ person. I apologize for saying that to you. It's been scientifically proven. There's been... I'll give you the route. That's from the Seinfeld show. Right? Not that there's anything wrong with that if you didn't watch it. But if you never watched it or you don't appreciate the comedy humor involved in that show, uh, then you uh, fall into the lower ca category of intelligence. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You, you don't have to be a smart person. Right? Not everyone has to be smart. The world needs morons. And, you know, there are a lot of us. <laughs> and you think, Klaus, you're just, uh, it's just gibberish today. But it's true. It's been scientifically proven uh, that... I'll explain it to you, right? Okay? I, I don't think I can do it in this battle because it's going to be over shortly. Or maybe not. He has to go all the way across to go kill the Excel Excalibur. Or Ex not Excelsior, Excalibur. Let's just... Let's just see him fight alone versus three, okay? We don't have to do scientific experiments when we're enjoying the game. I know, I know some of you come here. You want to enjoy a nice, relaxing tank game and that old angry guy gets in the way spouting off all his ridiculous theories. Why doesn't he just shut up? Who does he think he is? His theories don't make any sense. Not that there's anything wrong with that. And he's going to take one up the ass from the Boogie Woogie. The Boogie Woogie's going to... Are you going to trade with your ass? Yeah, give him your ass. Not the smartest thing to do, but... Eh. Eh. You didn't have to do that. You could have poked the other way. And who knew if the Jew knew would be ready to shoot, right? You could, you could have tested whether the Jew knew was ready. And the Jew knew's not ready. So you could have went around the rock and surprised the Boogie. Boogie Woogie. Ha ah, here I am. I'm on the other side of the rock. Snap! And then you wouldn't have taken one up the ass. Uh, because now you only have 420 for... X. You notice I'm talking about the tank game now? Okay, you satisfied? But I'm going to explain to... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what kind of stupid, ridiculous... Now turn around. You don't have to show your ass. Do you want me to on my chair and pull down my derrieres? Of course the loader bought the farm. You're fluttering your ass in front of the enemies. What's what's with that strategy? Oh, I know. It's me versus three. I think the correct strategy is for me to be ready in case they come. I'm ready. I'm ready. Are, are they here? Like, what kind of... Who is this guy? Uh, Bartek58. We're featuring you from the RS... Shout out to you guys. You're going to have a great game. You've got nine kills. You know. I'm featuring you, so... Because you did so well. But as a backseat quarterback... Driver... Watching your gameplay, I have to say... Like, is there a reason that that would be your strategy? You don't have to face your ass at them. You're asking to be shot up the ass. What did, what did you what did you expect would happen? <clears throat> so now that you've traded your ass for three shots, you're down to 79 HP. And this was a handily won game. Right? If you just turned around and pointed your angled front plate at them. You might bounce a shot. And he's tempting them. Dude, should I do it again? It's, I get back on my chair and pull my, pull my pants down and tempt them? See, now look at you. Look at you now, you stupid tank. He's got 900 HP. What are you going to do now? Now you have to permatrack him. Or ammo rack him. Permatrack, ammo rack, same thing. GG. Wait. Jew thought it was over, didn't you? Jew didn't know that there's still a Jew new. 
Ah. Oh. That was a thing of beauty, wasn't it? Huh? You see how I built that up? With the story and everything? And how you thought, oh, it's a, we're trolled again, right? He's gonna lose. No. You see how. And now he's up on HP. But you don't know how much HP the team started with. So, uh, not really sure how much HP the, the enemy tank has. It, like, he's plus 14 HP, but the, the teams don't start equal. Oh, but I guess we could do math. If he's up 14 HP and he has 79, you can just subtract 14 from 79. Right? Is that right? Uh, so it would be 65. So the other guy's got 65 HP. Who knew the Jew knew had that much HP? Did you know? <coughs> oh, there he is. What does he have? 65, see? Close. You can't... You can't pull one on me, guys. I just... <laughs> I'm so, they keep pitching them, and I keep missing... No. I keep pitching them, and they keep missing them. Right? You're not even spotted. Just poke up and shoot him. He doesn't see you. He's a blind Jew, no. And, and you've got bushes, and you've got hull downness, and gun depression. I just poke up to that bush right there. No, 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 no. That bush right there. That bush. Okay, I, I got... You're going to turn around and... Face them with your ass? Might as well keep up the winning strategy. The Jew News AFK, guys, just so you know. There he is. 11 kills! Not that there's anything wrong with that. 4,698 damage. He, he, uh, he did pretty good. Okay, and now for the discussion and the explanation you've all been waiting for. Uh, there was a scientific experiment done in which, and I've, you know, so if you answered. No, I didn't like the show. I'm sorry to inform you that uh, you're, you're ranking lower on the uh, IQ scale determined by experts. Uh, <clears throat> I happen to think the show was hilarious, so I ranked very high. So this is what they did, okay? Uh, they, they, meaning some, I guess, statisticians and scientists that are unemployed and had nothing to do because none of their work really propelled mankind forward and uh, uh, everything they were working on was was useless in every way so they probably lost their jobs and had nothing to do so they decided to do this experiment on their free time and what they did is they designed uh, a questionnaire which they had thousands of people fill in all right and uh, the questionnaire was a series of 25 questions 25 different questions uh, which already skews uh, the results because if if you were to ask people, would you like to do this uh, questionnaire? It's just 25 questions. It won't take you that long, just you know, an hour. And you, there's a lot of people that will just say no, and there's some people that will say yes. And the people that tend to say yes to that, you've already sorted your sample group. Okay, so you can't do that. I'm going to explain the full. So they didn't do that. They said, would could you? Uh, take part in a experiment we have and that's it that's all the information they gave you and if the person said yes they, then they did this thing right and so they had to fill out a, a not fill out they had to answer 25 questions <laughs> now okay I'll, I'll i'll get right to the to the thing here 20 of the questions are designed to determine your IQ right 20 of the 25 questions were specifically uh, questions that are asked uh, and, you know they're not like uh, who was the first uh, minister of uh, Slaka Slovis Slaka uh, in uh, 1823 when the uh, invasion of the moops or, you know it's not like some tri trivia memory thing it's the you know weird questions that uh, uh, they give you to measure your IQ, so like uh, the, your intelligence and your ability to um, come up with the right answer. You know, I don't know how how to make questions that uh, zero in on your IQ, but you know, it's like an IQ test. So twenty of the questions are designed uh, as an IQ test, but 
there's five other questions mixed in those 20 questions and they were just you know like random questions that were meaningless right like a uh, mixed in with and some of the iq questions you 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 don't really know that it's an iq question because it's, it's not a a mathematics or a physics or it's just a problem solving or a riddle or you know IQ questions they're 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 weird you don't really know you're doing an IQ test when you answer some of those questions so mixed in there's five questions that are you know just like uh, uh, would you prefer a green uh, couch uh, or uh, two uh, red love seats in your living room the way it's decorated now right well, that's mixed in with one, and you go, oh, geez, uh, my wife would probably like the, uh, the couch. I hate green. And I, I want to, you know, so you'd answer that question. There's five of those meaningless questions. Who's your favorite uh, uh, singer? Or if you, you know, if you had to rank these, blah, blah, blah. The five questions that obviously, uh, to the guys who wrote it, are meaningless. And one of the meaningless, one of the five meaningless questions was... Uh, did you find the show Seinfeld funny? Okay. Now they can't just have one unrelated question because then people would know. They'd say, all these questions have been of a certain sort and now they're asking me this? What does that mean? But there's five out of the 25 that were kind of these weird questions. So uh, that, that's to disperse the... Um, uh, the silliness within the uh, within the test so that it's not clear to people uh, no, no one really knew what this test was for they didn't think it, they didn't know it was an IQ test or didn't think it was an IQ they didn't know what it was it was just a uh, do you want to participate in this study but no information about what the study was so anyways they answered the 25 questions so inadvertently, they've done an IQ test with 20 questions. They've asked four, they've answered four questions that are meaningless. The results are just thrown out, like the couch and your favorite singer and uh, how tall do you prefer your tree, whatever, right? And then the one question, did you find the Seinfeld show funny? And so the only result that they're interested in, out of thousands of people, tens of thousands of people that did the, the test, is the IQ result based on the 20 questions and the answer to did you find the Seinfeld show funny or not? And then they do a correlation. And the correlation was <laughs> those that scored in the lower percentile in the IQ test Predominantly answered the question, do you find the Seinfeld show funny? No. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. But I find it hilarious because <laughs> they inadvertently <laughs> they inadvertently let on that I, I guess I'm not so smart and I didn't like that show. <laughs> Which, then, then this is a leap now, right? That's just a result. What the result means can, you know, now that's just a statistic, a statistical analysis that, uh, that uh, if you did this IQ test and you uh, finished in the, the 25th lower percentile, you had an 86% chance of not liking Seinfeld. And if you finished in the top 25 percentile of this 20 question, you had a 72% uh, likelihood of s saying you, you, you thought the show was funny, not liked, uh, thought the show was funny. Then you can try and interpret that result. You know? And that's the simple way of interpreting it is say, well, if, if you don't find Seinfeld funny, you're a moron. <laughs> Which isn't necessarily the, uh, the conclusion. <laughs> But determining what the conclusion is now, uh, it can be difficult. <laughs> because now people will argue about the conclusion, right? You didn't like, you didn't think the show was funny because you're stupid. <laughs> but that might, might not be actually the answer. <laughs> I make myself laugh because I know some of you. I didn't like that fucking show. I'm not stupid. <laughs> so the. 
some would argue that uh, the uh, uh, the jokes and the delivery of uh, the comedy in that show were such that uh, a higher <laughs> IQ person would would uh, uh, enjoy it more and maybe understand some of the uh, <laughs> the the situational uh, things that uh, you know yada yada yada. <laughs> And if you're if you're kind of uh, mentally, uh, intellectually challenged, maybe you didn't find George Costanza that funny, right? Because maybe you were kind of like him, and you thought, well, that's not that funny. What's? Why are they laughing at this? So he's he's locked himself in his office because they fired him. He didn't want to go home. I did that. This isn't funny. <laughs> So be honest. What category do you... Be honest, guys. The other way of interpreting it is that there's some other uh, force of nature that's involved here, right? Just just because you uh, uh, got a higher score on a silly IQ test, right? Maybe you're... Uh, you're... <laughs> I'm trying to spin a, a, a positive uh, for stupid people. Like, if you scored lower... Maybe you're more a down-to-earth, realistic uh, person that's not... Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to interpret it. If you're, I guess if you're stupid, you didn't like the show. <laughs> you, you are more, you know, maybe you like reality, sh like uh, uh, L.A. Housewives or the, the biggest fatso or whatever. You know, some of those shows or what's the one where they're stranded on the, uh, uh, the, the loser come home or the... Uh, what's the one where, where they're in the we're in the jungle a survivor you know maybe you like that kind of stuff maybe like uh, I wonder if Betty's gonna survive or the housewives of New York I didn't like the way she had her nails and she Betsy was really rude to Bob I, I hope Bob votes her off or you know whatever they do in that show <laughs> That's a true uh, scientific experiment that was conducted, and uh, I'm not sure if the guys that did it uh, meant it as a joke, or maybe they they're just pandering to uh, the posh, uh, self-indulgent, pompous people who believe they're, you know, uh, they're entitled and more intelligent than others, and uh, and, and and they think that uh, just because oh just because you scored five points higher than me you're 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 so full of yourself. That show was terrible, and you know it. Your your show watching privilege is showing. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, let me know what category you fit in, and uh, and come up with some theory. I want I want a theory. An interpret because all statistics can be interpreted uh, in many different ways. So give me a, an interpretation that would um, uh, be positive to to those lower on the scale, the lower percentile <laughs> of the test result, meaning you know a, a lower IQ. A positive reason why they wouldn't uh, find that show funny. Spin it so that, uh, you see, they know what's going on. Like, they're better than the people that scored. Not, now, it has nothing to do with one, them, one result being better than the other. It's just a correlation. There's many ways of interpreting it. I just can't think of a... I can't think of something that will... Uh, <laughs> that's like, makes the stupid people uh, <laughs> feel good. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that, guys, and I'm sure, I'm sure if you're watching my videos, you, uh, you know, you probably, regardless of whether you like that show or not, you score very high. Uh, on the, they've never done a, uh, they've never done a test, guys. To be fair, they've never done a scientific study that, uh, regardless of whether you like that stupid show or not, is that uh, people who view Klaus Kellerman's videos, obviously, if you did, if they had a series of 25 questions, 20 being the IQ test four randoms and then what could you do you enjoy Klaus Kellerman videos uh, or do you think Klaus Kellerman videos are fantastic if you answered yes 
to that, to, to that uh, then obviously your results on the IQ test would be astronomical, right? You'd be in the top uh, infinitesimal, the t top two, three percent, right? Like a mark of excellence type of uh, uh, type of result on the IQ test. It's obvious. So anyone that's watching now, you have to understand that you, uh, you you're right up there, right? I love you guys <laughs> because there's a uh, you know. A YouTuber needs his followers, is what I'm saying. You understand, guys? And so, you, ha you have to understand, right? And I don't, you have to understand that we all know why that shot hit after he was stunned, right? We all understand how that shell just... <whistles> RNG, right? Russian number generator. Everyone knows that. If you watch my videos, you're right up there with the IQ. Should we, I'm going to design, I'm going to design my own statistical uh, uh, survey. Why do you let them spot you? Why did you get so close to let them spot you? Why Why you want them spotting you? Thank God the game's over. I was digging myself in a hole there. And he ends up with uh, nine kills. And if we sort it properly, on top. So between those two games, 20 kills. That's the same amount of questions on that uh, that were IQ questions. So what category are you in? Let me know in the comments and I'll catch you guys on the next one.